Uber is on Earth to crack the code on urban mobility. It's what we've been working on in different ways for many years. How do we make our cities smarter? How do we help people move through their cities with greater efficiency? So far, we've been focused on ground-based transportation. And for us, the natural next step was flight. We started off by asking ourselves the question, why can't we fly today? Why can't we take to the air? So in Uber fashion, we took a deep look at the challenge of flying people in and around cities on demand. We quickly realized it wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. Flying really can replace driving in many cases, saving people precious time. And it can be done in a way that is ultimately less expensive than car ownership, as well as friendly to the environment and the community. But the big win is the time savings. Trips that can take hours on the ground can be reduced to minutes in the air. Giving time back to people is something we're very passionate about at Uber. That's more time with family, more time growing our economies, and lower stress for everyone. We started developing a first principle view of how to go about doing this and what sort of vehicle it would take to accomplish this mission. And during this process, we discovered that this vehicle was not a helicopter, but rather electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or EV tolls. EV tolls will make our lives easier, our commutes shorter, and our cities cleaner and more productive. They'll fundamentally change how our cities function and how we live in them. At NASA, my team and I spent decades researching the technology that enables this, Distributed Electric Propulsion, or DEP. This technology allows these aircraft to operate in urban centers safely and quietly. Skyscrapers change cities by taking advantage of the space above cities. Urban aviation will do the same, and in the process, it will reduce congestion on the ground and make our cities feel more open and more accessible for everyone. Of course, all of this won't just happen overnight, but in true Uber fashion, we're pushing forward as quickly as possible. And we're not going at it alone. We're already working with manufacturers and suppliers, governments and regulators from dozens of countries, the most innovative engineers all over the world, investors and real estate developers, and NASA and air traffic control. We're excited to unite this community around a common goal, so this idea can take off safely, but also as quickly as possible. I believe as we start to launch this Uber product, you'll work closer with the cities, closer with the county, very close to the state of Texas. At Uber, we're not only providing a marketplace for millions of riders, we're also working with local and federal governments to build out a network operations center and air traffic management systems to make these flights practical and safe. No one has a monopoly on the future. It's going to be shared. And so will the journey that takes us there. And the benefits of VTOL transportation will be shared by everybody. Just like we did with Uber Pool on the ground, we'll be able to make commuting by air equally as affordable. Together with our partners, we've created the Uber Elevate Network to usher in this future of transportation. The shared passion and the combined expertise are powerful. The reason I think this industry is going to be successful faster than anyone thinks is every single product-oriented person, every engineer, anyone that had an inkling that they wanted to be in that space when they were a little kid is dying to build this. It's very much the early morning on day one of this adventure. The Uber Elevate network will be growing to include more cities, technology partners, and investors. If you're as passionate as we are about this future, join us. You're the lucky one. You're the one that gets to shape the future of this city for the next century. And that's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We're creating something that folks in 2117 are gonna look back and say they were truly visionary.